Good morning, guys. Let's go. Welcome to the live stream today. Just heard that bell go off. I was actually looking for my monster today, and it looks like there is none, and I'm very, very sad about that. But I'm not too sad because we're actually seeing some oil stocks starting to pop up like Zom and Oxy and all those big oil names like Chevron, uh, BP, I'm sure even MPC, like Marathon, Petroleum's probably popping a little bit. Yes, it is. And, you know, we're just getting good moves like that all across the board in the oil sector out of these big oil stocks. And looking at them right now, some of them are breaking key resistance. Like CVX had a big resistance at 164 to 165. That is a clean, clean break this morning up above that. If we go to Oxy, they've been bouncing off support down here around 56 to 58. And we actually just rocketed above that recent resistance around 64. Got right above there, no problem whatsoever. Let's go look at Zom. Zom, big gap up right at big resistance right around like 115. So some stocks are breaking resistance, some are like right at them. But nonetheless, these oil plays are looking hot here this morning. I hope you guys are having a great day though. Thank you, Mike, Jamie, Fiva, Xbox, Bill, and Keisha. Seriously, hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you guys had some fun with your families, you know, got to chill out maybe, you know, whatever you got, whatever floats your boat there, but hopefully you uh, had a good time. Hopefully you're also ready for some trading this week because we are going to have quite the adventure. Now, it's not anything crazy with like earnings or, you know, anything uh, overly insane like that, but there is some stuff on the economic calendar. So if we scroll down here, you know, ISM manufacturing today, jolts job openings on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have non-manufacturing PMI. On uh, Friday, looks like we have the non-farm payrolls and the unemployment rate, which will be huge there. So really keep your eyes out on the 7th. But other than that, nothing too crazy. But um, I do like, for example, that there's not really too much going on because this means that the regular news can dictate the price action. Plus, you know, we don't have to worry about all this crazy news making our stocks gap up or gap down. There'll probably still be some news coming out, so keep that in mind. But if you guys know anything crazy this week that you're watching, let me know. Any big events or anything like that. I know, you know, sometimes there's events that some people miss, so very easily could be the case. All right, though, let's see. Let me know what stocks you guys want to see. But so far on my watch list, HAL, good old, <laughs> uh, whoa, hang on. This ain't the right HAL, I don't think. Hang on here. What the? Oh, it gave me an Indian stock. <laughs> what? I guess everyone's trading that over our stocks, but here we go. HAL, Halliburton Company, all the way up to 3460 this morning, 3470 up there right at the top. Looking good there. I believe they're in oil. Oxy's also second on my watch list here with crude oil itself. CL actually coming in third. They're sitting right at 6% as well. So looking good on that front. Zom and CVX are right below there. Zom, CVX. Stocks are up like 4 and 5% respectively. You know, a group of stocks I noticed this morning that was up that kind of caught my eye was Win and LVS. It seems like the casino stocks are moving. Even Penn Gaming is kind of having a big jump back up. I don't know what's the deal with that, but looking pretty good, actually. Penn is like having a triple bottom down here, around $26. Actually looking pretty perfect. Look at that. On March 24th, somebody entered into some 30-strike Penn calls. That was on March 24th. Wow, that was like right at the bottom here recently. Damn, that's huge. All right, hang on. Let me circle this up because I want to kind of get this one on here. That's cool. This thing. And they entered there. Somewhere around here, right? Somewhere in there. I'm going to go ahead and get an arrow pointed at that. Cool. Always works out, right? The smart money knows. I think they know, guys. <laughs> I think that they know what's going on. Because <laughs> it seems like 
They're always out here winning. That is actually pretty perfect here on Penn, guys. Pretty perfect. 30 strike calls, 1.3 million. They must be doing very, very well right now. Kind of hard to tell if they're shorting those or not, but I don't think they are. I don't think they were, anyways. If they were, they're going to be getting some shares at 30, and I don't think they're going to be too upset. <laughs> or, I mean, if they did, they're going to... Hopefully, it was uh, covered calls, but... I don't think it I don't think it was. I think that they just longed him. Especially on that big green day there. Like that was perfect. Perfect. Man, Penn Gaming. I know um the Barstool Sports guy got bought out by Penn, which is uh Dave Portnoy, that's his name. And he ended up actually having a ton of Penn shares and he's been pissed, I would guess, but they'll probably come back for him. He's doing fine anyways. He's 10 shares, but... Wow, let's see here. Spy, I mean, this is like a perfect break, guys. Look at this on the daily chart. In 2022, Spy was falling down, and we stayed under this key trend line the whole entire year. Just continually stayed in here and had bounce after bounce after bounce. Now, we're having that big bounce up out of the trend, confirming off of it even. I don't know, are we gonna start a nice long-term uptrend here? That's the question. You know, that's gonna be the big thing here going forward. I some people still contemplate, like, well, hey, are we gonna fall down and retest that lower trend line down there that we've been following since 08? We might, but you know, we might end up actually popping up a little bit and then hitting the trend line. You know, it it it's hard to say exactly because the market's always dynamic and it's always changing. But right now, it seems like we're actually going on a pretty nice start to an uptrend. So I love that here. And this morning, it came back. Let's see here. One minute chart. Spy's coming back, making new highs up to 410. 410 there. Love it. Love that. JG Marine. Love that name. Says BBBY is dying. Bed, bath, and beyond. Wow. 42 cents. Oh man, what happened here? Wow, what a poor company. Uh, I'll say I feel bad for these guys, man. Bed Bath and Beyond. It looks like they're gonna be Bed Bath and Be Gone. I, I don't know what a what the hell. Wow, poor stock. Big drops down over the past few days. I didn't even know this was happening the past uh, week or two. It's been doing so good. Thanks for the uh, stock, though, JG. That's too bad. He said he got some nice items, 40 to 60% off. Holy, that's awesome. I don't even have any of these in my area anymore, I don't think. They're all gone by me. Danny says, look at MU. All right. Good old MU Micron. Let's see it here. Got the Micron falling down today. Oh, boy. Double top at 64.50 happening that's actually pretty rough looking here mu pretty bad xbox says i was curious about pepper and mike said how's DraftKings and coin DraftKings. let's see one of my favorites ah not really doing much today coinbase is probably down a little yeah just slightly it's actually not looking too bad, though, Coinbase. is pretty much break-even, just slightly, slightly down. I think that they're looking all right. They're not going to be my favorite stocks this week, though. Coinbase scares me. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Coinbase is worrying to me. No, Xbox, they're not. I just... I got to go over the stocks first. <laughs> got to go over stocks first, man. <clears throat> um... But looking right now, the Palantir is looking hot. Running up to 850, going to QQQ. Looking good. 321, 321.50. And that's going to be a tough high to get to today. Boeing actually having a good breakout. 
All right, but a lot of my watch list is red, like poor Tessie here. Tesla dying off to the downside here. Geez, that's terrible. AMD. Looks like Xbox is trying to get into some peppers here. <laughs> Getting some, uh, he was looking at the, the ghost peppers were one of the hottest in the world. Carolina Reaper ranked hotter sometime after, but when I checked, I saw this. The Dragon's Breath Chili's heat level has been reported to be a scorching 2.48 mil Scoville. Which would make it hotter than the Carolina Reaper, which offers 1.4 to 2.2. Yeah, that's pretty... I know Xbox, I see, um... Have you ever seen that show, The Hot Ones? It's on YouTube, uh... The Hot Ones. Sauces, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Have you guys seen this show? It's called The Hot Ones on YouTube. What the... Um, hot ones. Let's see what I guess some of the popular ones are. Um, you know, like hot ones with Kevin Hart, right? My lipstick. <laughs> hey, my lips. My lips feel like they bleed. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> but yeah, in this show, they eat like hot wings and they talk and see how they have like the Scovilles. Um, let's see if they do one at the end here. Ah, here we go. Let's see what this one was. So this one's 550,000 Scovels. It's hard to, like, stop it right on a Scovel picture, but... Pretty hot, man. I couldn't imagine an actual one. Uh, Xbox, have you ever tried that hot chip? Man, that hot chip was, uh, was terrible. I actually did the chip challenge. That is terrible. Wow, Stone Cold and The Undertaker were there. I used to be into the WWE a lot more. Um, Ant, I can't tell you why they, uh, dropped so much. It could be that there was a total upheaval in the shares so i haven't really done a big deep dive into it amp but remind me of the ticker of that one again even tesla sales numbers miss j deep said will that impact the stock in any way i mean you would think so right i mean it seems like it's definitely impacting it right now it's falling back down to like 200 i would say that's definitely going to impact it j deep in a big way probably probably going to be pretty hard there and I, 203 is a pretty big resistance today. 200 is a big support. I feel like this might send us down a little bit lower, J Deep, especially if the market falls off too. That's going to be terrible. Wow. Oh. Yeah, those two guys. Yeah, I got you at the end. Uh, he says the one that comes in a coffin. Yeah, Xbox, that's it. Yeah, the hot chip. The hot chip challenge. This is it. I did this thing, guys. Oh my gosh. It's terrible. I'll say this. I got sick, guys. It was rough. All right. That, I could not do the chip challenge. I couldn't get it done. Which one did I do here? Oh, these. Those aren't very hot looking. Yeah, these are just chips. Here we go. This is what we had. I had this thing right here. This thing inside the... Yeah, the Pakai. Oh my lord. That was awful. I was uh, peer pressured by my girlfriend and, uh, and a couple other people. And yeah, let's just say it was not fun, guys. It was not fun at all. It was actually insane. <laughs> okay, quite insane. But hey, thank you guys for joining up today. Seriously, it's been a fantastic morning so far, going over a lot of stocks. Sorry, I missed some of the uh, comments early on. I was kind of um, in the zone there on some stocks for a minute, but 
That Vince McMahon selling. I saw that. What's up with that? Why are they selling? Weird. Hey, let's check out the... Dang it, I clicked the wrong button. Let's check out the book map after I delete this uh, page it's about to open. All right. All right, so book map on the Tesla here. Look at this. We have big support around 199. You can see 200 got broken there at open. Kind of rough. Man, a lot of buyers down here, though, at the bottom. This is a weird, weird book map for Tesla today. A lot of big areas down below. Hmm. Strange day, to say the least. Strange day, but... Sean goes, damn it, Tom, don't be peer pressured. I know, right? I know. I couldn't help it. They, they told me it wasn't that bad. They said they... They showed me a video of like some eight year old do it. And I was like, you know, if some eight year old could do it, why not? You know, I'm like, I could make it. And I did that chip. I took it. And we'll just say it was immediately bad. Like, guys, if you ever try it, all I have to say is have a lot of milk ready <laughs> and be ready to be messed up for about 30 minutes. And even more than that, but for 30 minutes, you're like almost immobile with it. Weird. Terrible. But hey, I actually have a pretty... I have a pretty big personal announcement today, so... Let me go ahead and get straight into this. So, I don't really know the best way to... You know, to say this, or to describe it, I guess, exactly, uh, on the stream, or... You know, to the stocked up community, for example. Because, you know, I don't want to sound weird with it, because... I don't know if it's uh, too personal or what, but nonetheless, guys, I'll just go ahead and say it. I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> so looks like my girlfriend is, uh, you know, she we found out she was pregnant. Uh, we found out last week. So my life has been pretty, uh, pretty crazy the past few few days and the past week, to say the least. It's been a crazy process here. You know, we're kind of getting going. She's about five to six weeks going in um seems pretty normal right now uh it should end up being a pretty you know good process as the weeks go on but just keep in mind guys i might have to miss a couple streams to you know maybe help her or go to an ultrasound or you know something like that there's gonna always be you know some type so something come up i'm sure so yeah, let's go, guys. <laughs> Keisha goes, I knew it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm I'm so happy. I'm excited. I don't even know like what the what to say really. It's like I'm I'm scared in a way, you know, if that makes sense. It's kind of a scary process at the same time, but again, I'm really, really happy and I'm hoping um, you know, obviously everything goes smoothly with it. So it's going to be fun, though. Going to be a fun next uh, next nine months, to say the least. So that's awesome. <laughs> Xbox goes, Tom the Horn Dog. <laughs> Xbox. Oh, that's hilarious. But yeah, thank you, guys. Seriously, thank you. Keisha, Ant, Mike, Sean, Juice, JG, Xbox, Mark. Thank you, guys. Seriously, I appreciate it. Hopefully that'll be a fun next uh, next eight eight months or so. It's gonna be an adventure, you know. I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious if it's gonna be a boy or a girl too. You know, that's gonna be a a big uh, question mark for me. I'm really hoping it's a boy. I'm the I'm the last male in my family, so I need a boy. But I'll be happy with either one, to be honest. But nice though. Yeah, it's going to be a fun time, hopefully. But getting into the Tesla here, looking at the big support, 199 today, looking pretty solid. I actually just broke it just now. <laughs> so that was a quick break. We're flushing now. Wow, Tesla's really flushing down like we thought. Hey, thank you, Xbox. I appreciate you. Appreciate that one. Keisha goes, girl, I'm calling it. <laughs> My girlfriend wants one too, Keisha. JG says, bet for a boy. Hell yeah. 
I'm I'm hoping, JG. I'm hoping, but I need one because I we need some more mores in this. You know, we need the more uh, legacy to go on. <laughs> After we have one boy, we can have like eight girls. <laughs> hey, thanks, JD. Appreciate you. Ant says, uh, AMD's dropping. Yeah, Tesla's dropping. AMD's dropping. NVIDIA's dropping. Gosh, that's rough. What's up with these drops today, guys? Wow, what's going on there? Big moves of the downside. There's some big drops. AMD is uh, kind of like right on support. If we end up getting under this like 95 level, that could be brutal. AMD, NVIDIA as well. Wow. Yeah, not very good. Not very good. Hmm. Anybody watching any baseball lately? Or any golf? Hey, Sean, did you see Kepka won this weekend, huh? That's going to be cool. Hey, thank you, George. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, it's it's going to be awesome, guys. It's going to be a, a fun adventure, a fun process here. It's one of those things where, like, I'm sitting here in my head thinking, like, like, wow, what's going on here? I'm like, it's like in the past week, like, so much has went through my mind now about, like, the future and what I need to do, and et cetera, et cetera. And some of these growth stocks better get up sooner rather than later. <laughs> Mike says, let's go Mets, calling for a boy. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we'll have to see what it is. It'll be a fun, uh, it'll be a fun reveal, we'll say that. We already have some ideas on how I'm going to, on how we're going to do the gender reveal gonna be funny yeah sean i might bet on it man i like kepka so i might bet on him but uh for the gender reveal we're thinking about maybe me hitting a golf ball and the golf ball explodes into either pink or blue <laughs> that'd be kind of cool nice exploding golf ball wow ants going to the o's rangers game tonight he says go o's Hell yeah. Go O's. Come on, Cedric Mullins. Let's go Austin Hayes. Hell yeah. Who's pitching for you guys? Let me go ahead and let me eye this up. Maybe even uh, Ramon Urias or Urias could do pretty good. That guy's been pretty good on my team. Uh, Anthony Santander. Hmm. That guy's awesome. I want Santander to start doing a little better today. I will say the only pitcher I know on your guys' team is that Cole Irvin. Besides that, I don't know anybody, but... I don't really know anybody besides that. Mike says, do the gender reveal on the live stream. <laughs> that would be something else, Mike. But you guys would be getting a live stream of my family's party. <laughs> That's for sure. That'd be a little weird. Wow, spies running up. But what's up with all these tech stocks running down? Like, what is happening today? Zom and, and uh, Oxy and CVX are keeping the market up. What? Uh, the heat map's kind of bad, but. <laughs> that is holding hard. Oh, thanks, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I don't know. The heat map doesn't look very good to me. Yeah, that's that's really weird here. Yeah, Ant says they'll go into the O's Rangers game. I hope that's fun, uh, Ant. Who's? Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna eye up that game tonight. I'm going to the Cardinals game on the 17th, so that'll be cool. 17. Let's see though tonight. Monday the third. I'll be watching this game because it'll probably be late at night. 
Those game. Oh no, it's normal time. Central time, Texas, that's right. Oh, you guys have Bradish going and, and Gray. Oh, okay. Bradish versus Gray. That's gonna be a good one. Bradish is pretty good, but I don't know. Gray is Gray is pretty underrated. <laughs> I'll give him that. Xbox says SoFi is over six bucks. Yeah, let's go to the SoFi. Man, I will say, I am starving today, guys. Straight up starving. Whew. I could eat a horse today. Peter Griffin said, right? Or Brian Griffin. No, Chris Griffin said that, I think. <laughs> I couldn't figure out which one. Someone in here will know that, that scene. Big resistance here on SoFi at 6.30, actually. Kind of rejected right there. A bunch, bunch of sell orders probably came in. Wow, Tesla is almost back up to 198.50 on the book map here. Man, all these big support levels just keep getting broken and then holding again. Crazy to see him falling off this hard. Dang. Let's go see Meta here too. Meta's been pretty rough today. Big support at 209. Okay. Not bad. Spy on that five minute chart. Still holding up above 410 in a pretty big way. Let's go eye up the banks, which we haven't eyed up yet today. And what the hell? They're flying. JP Morgan, Bank of America. What about FRC? Uh, FRC is not doing the best, but that's good. MPW? What's MPW? Let's check that out. I think I've heard of this one. Medical Properties Trust. What the? I don't know what this is, but it sounds interesting, and it's on quite the uptrend right now, to say the least. To say the least. Keisha goes, maybe you'll gain all your wife's baby weight when she's in her third trimester. I know, right? I hope I do. I I hope I can gain some weight from this. That'd be cool. <laughs> I don't think I will, but I'll take it. I will take it if I can. Yeah, I mean, I'm starving right now. Yeah, it seems like my metabolism's been pretty good lately. I've been sitting like right around like 138 pounds. I just cannot get to 140 or higher and hold it. You know, I need to be able to get there and hold. Um, I'm really trying though. I'm trying. I need some more steaks. I might go buy some more steaks this week. It's going to be a uh, big week for me for eating. Going to have a big eating week. Might have to go drive a little bit later on to go buy, to go get the steaks, but. The place I buy it from is awesome. It's like a nice family-owned shop. Love them there. Fantastic there. Hmm. All right, go ahead and looking at stocks to the downside. I mean, I feel kind of bad looking at these stocks down like NIO, MPW's blasting, but man, they don't really do much with like options. Today, let's see, MPW. Yeah, there's a few actually. MPW actually is nice option. Not gonna lie about that. They don't look too bad. The gaps aren't bad. Some of them are bad, but there's actually some volume on them. Maybe because they've been getting hot. Look at Spy. <laughs> What's happening today? What is going up that I'm not seeing? Is it Kroger? Uh-oh. Keisha, check out Kroger. One of your favorites, Johnson & Johnson. 
KR might be a pretty good candidate for some all action this week. Ooh, that daily's looking, starting to look good. We're at like right at big resistance, but starting to break out here. So kind of hot. You know? Looking really good, actually, I'd say. Wow. Not bad, though, KR. Take that. Spy's starting to look pretty good here to the upside. Man, is it going to break out and go on another run? I just, I couldn't see this happening today with all the bad movement I saw at first, but... Man. I guess some sectors are just holding up better. GLD's looking good. Wow, keep your eyes on GLD and GDX today. Ooh, GDX, actually. I don't know. That thing looks kind of hot. That's actually pretty good. GLD, GDX. Love seeing those types of moves here. Made 35 books on um, 35 books. And made 35 bucks on his AMD puts. That's awesome. The RSI has helped him a lot. That's good, Ant. I'm glad it's helped you. Yeah, just I'll say this, Ant. Um, be a little bit careful with the RSI. Um I know that, you know, some people, especially in discussion chat, have been loving it lately. You know, obviously, uh tick. Trades with the RSI and all that stuff. Just keep in mind, Ant, a lot of people start reading RSI wrong. And, you know, while, like, for example, RSI can be good in some circumstances, but in others, it might not be. So just keep that in mind. Honestly, RSI is not my favorite. But, hey, I'm glad it's helped you so far, at least. That's good. As you start trading more... uh. I think you'll start to see the setups where you don't really have to necessarily see the RSI, if that makes sense. But that's good that it's uh, helping you short term. And Ant, also, like, let me know if there's if you see any plays or something where RSI might be breaking or something like that. I'll check them out. You know, it's always cool to add another thing like that into the live stream. Because if we start talking about RSI enough, I might even add it up on a uh, second chart or something, you know, in the background. Kind of like how we have the book map in the background. You know, I could always uh, add some more indicators onto some more charts and stuff like that. Man, I'm starving, but Five Guys doesn't open until 11 o'clock. What am I going to do? <laughs> I really am starving. Sean's trying to help me pick out names. <laughs> Tomio, Tomer, Tomlin, Tomac, Tomlin. Okay. Hey, if it's a girl, we could call her Samantha. Sean, maybe that could be it. <laughs> Samantha. That's pretty funny, though. Wow. Meta here looking brutal. Tesla still under 200 here. 198.60 is a big resistance. Look at how we had a hit there. It just... The order still stayed. Now more buyers are coming back in at 197. This is going to be a weird uh, day for Tessie here. It's not looking good to me though, guys. I I hate to say it. This looks like a pretty brutal type of sell-off here for poor Tessie today. I feel like this might actually continue as the day goes, this sell-off. Especially since we're back below 200 now. It just makes it worse. 
just makes it worse and worse and worse. Oh, bueno. If it's a girl, call her Tomalin. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, th I think that me and my girlfriend decided, like, you know, like, obviously we're both going to get to pick the names, but, like, if it's a girl, like, I think she's going to get to be, like, the main decider in the name, and if it's a boy, like, I get to be... So I'm a junior, for example. I'm, you know, I'm Tom Moore Jr. Or technically Thomas Moore Jr. I guess technically it's Thomas Michael Moore Jr. If we want to be really technical. But, so the kid, if, if we had a boy, he might be able to be called Thomas Michael Moore the third. That could be pretty cool. Kind of like that. Thomas Michael Moore the third. I don't know. Could be pretty big. Check the Friends episodes where Rachel and Ross veto baby names. <laughs> George, I'll have to. My girlfriend actually watched. She's watched every episode of Friends like seven times over. George. Seven times over. Sean is Sean Michael Corners. That's pretty cool. We have the same middle name, Sean. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, Michael's my uh, my uncle's name. I don't know. Sometimes I think about, like, my grandpa's name was Eugene. So I kind of... <laughs> this might be, like, a weird middle name, but I kind of want to... Maybe name my kid, like, Thomas Eugene Moore. <laughs> I don't know if that would be allowed or not, but... That might be weird. We might just have to totally forget the, the Thomas thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to be named the same as, as my son. My dad hates that me and him are named the same, so... He hates it. He's... He's always upset, and I'm like, why? He's like, he's like, all of our documents are the same. He's like, I never know if it's the same for the taxes or, or anything. And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's kind of true. It does make some sense, you know. It does make sense in some ways. How is Yum? Yum Brands doing? Wow, they're actually doing pretty good last week. Big jump up on Friday. Wow, yum. What about DPZ? DPZ, guys, could be a pretty good dip buy, I think, for all of my guys looking for some long-term stocks out there. Let's go check them out on Finviz really quick. Finviz. Do they pay a... I think they pay a dividend, a pretty good one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 1.47. Ah, not, not too good. Maybe I was thinking of a different. Maybe I was thinking of PZZA. Let's see. Do they pay one? Probably wrong. Oh, no. This one's decent. 2.24. Not bad. Not the best, but better than 1.7, I guess. Wow. Keisha's dad's name was Eugene. Awesome. And her brother is a junior. That's cool. That's pretty good, Keisha. Eugene, yeah. That, that was my grandpa's name, and I kind of want to put that in, uh, in one of my son's names, you know? Sean says, PFE is finally getting up there. PFE. I'm hoping that this might sound a little bit weird. Maybe I shouldn't hope for this because it's just going to cost like twice as much and all that. But I kind of hope she has twins. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but like I kind of hope she has like a boy and a girl. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be interesting. To say the least. PFE is finally getting up there, though. Yeah, I mean, kind of, Sean. On the daily chart, it's not... Kind of still down around the lows. But, yeah, it is getting up there a little bit. Yeah, you know, Friday and today have had some good moves. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. Not bad. But yeah, OPEC decided to do some uh, output cuts today. Did you guys see this? 
Analysts are actually warning of $100 per barrel. I could not believe I saw this with these analysts today. I was sitting here reading this this morning and I was like, what the f- $100 per barrel? Get out of here. $100? I was like, you know, we were there a little while ago, but I just don't see us rocketing back up that quickly. All the way back up to 100 Now, it's possible. You know, it's possible, but I just don't see it happening right away. Um, I feel like 92 or like 95 is a little bit more realistic. 100 we get back to there, that's going to be a little bit tough, but who knows? Maybe they're going to get it higher just in time for summer, you know? Just in time for the, for the traveling months, just like last March. Just like last March and last April, you know? We had oil starting to hit highs around May, June, July, August. That's whenever it was at highs, all during those hot zones, times when it was hot outside. When people travel and drive around and do things, you know, they don't just sit inside because it's cold. You know, it's like uh, this is whenever the most money is spent on oil is in those summer months. And what do oil companies want? They want oil up during that time. And there's a lot of things actually where prices go up because of seasons it's not just oil it's soybeans it's corn it's cattle so it's not like this is unheard of you know this is a a real thing that that goes on with the seasons um and of course these oil companies want the prices higher during this time so what does opec do they start cutting output to bring prices up a little bit plus i think they just need to you know oil's been falling down a lot anyways lately Probably do for a bit of a pop back. No, it actually doesn't, Keisha. Not that I've seen anyways. Not that I've seen. <laughs> Xbox, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Pastor's name's Eugene. That's, <laughs> that's pretty interesting. I'll give it that, Xbox. My husband has a twin sister, Keisha says. Wow, just, yeah, it doesn't run in the family, though. You should. It does not run in the family. That'd be kind of cool if it did, but yeah, it doesn't. Fortunately, wish it did, but it's okay. Man, I'll tell you what, Sean. Yesterday was one of my worst days at golf in a long time. Let me uh, let me pull up my. Stuff here. Man, this was bad, Sean. This was a bad thing for Tom. Uh, how do I see my previous rounds? <laughs> here we go. Terrible, Sean. Oh, it won't let me see it. Tournaments. Results, here we go. It says click view rounds. Where's that at? Where is view rounds? This? Yeah, it's not showing them though. That's weird. Really weird. Go see St. Louis. Let's see if I'm in here. Ah, here it is. I think I'm playing in these tournaments too. Yeah, weird. It won't let me... Ah, here it is. Peevely Farms. Here it is. This is it. I'm in Division 4 because I suck. Oh, I didn't win any money. I can't... I did really bad, Sean. Look at this. Here I am. Thomas Moore. All the way down here. I shot a 104, Sean. This was bad. Bad for me. 
So they had me starting out on the back. Um, they had me starting out on the back nine, so I started out on hole 10. And we'll just say this, I did really, really bad. I had like triple, 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 double, triple, double, triple. And then I actually started doing a little bit better. On hole one, triple, but then just bogey, double, par, par, double, bogey, triple, par. So I ended up on my last like 10 holes, if you count hole 18, I had a but well, hole 17 onwards. I had pretty much pars and bogeys with just a couple doubles and one triple mixed in, but I don't know. It just, it wasn't a good day. I could have done a lot better, but. Yeah, it was, uh, I don't know. See, like, look right here. I actually was 10th place as far as getting pars. It's just, yeah, that back nine for me was terrible. Terrible. If I would have went plus 12, plus 12, and I would have done eight strokes better, I would have been happy. But I would have liked to shoot, like, 90 or something. I would have been happy up here. Plus 20, plus 18. That was pretty rough, Sean. I'll say that. Pretty bad. But enough of the golf. Sean says it was 70 yesterday. Hit balls in the yard. Getting dumped on with snow now. 15 inches by tomorrow. Get out of here, Sean. That is a lot of snow. What the? You're going to be at home. Uh, you're going to be at home again. Trading futures tomorrow. I can tell. <laughs> if not today. Yeah, she is a hardcore Friends fan, George. Really hardcore. Very, but... Man, Spy, just how are you ripping like this today? Okay. Boeing, guys. Keep your eyes on BA. Actually looking pretty fire this morning. Good old Boeing running to the upside up to 220. Looking good. I like that. Pretty good plays. Go see uh, Book Map. Book Map looking good here. Wow, that 195 level on Tesla is huge down there. Look at that. 297,000 shares on order. That is something else. Whew. I love the Book Map on Tesla. Tesla is just so fun to watch on Book Map to me. Probably my favorite one to watch by far on book map, but all, honestly, a lot of stocks are fun to watch. Like Intel's good, even. Um, let's actually take that off. Let's add AMD on real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on? Why isn't it? Hang on, it's not letting me add a connection. What did I do? What? Hang on here, let me... <laughs> it's taking them all away! They took my little button off for adding new connections on. For adding new stocks, what the hell? I think I need to update this, hang on guys. Let me update this really quick. Oh my gosh, Sean! Guys, look at this. This is what Sean is dealing with right now. <laughs> well, sorry, Sean. Yeah, that is pretty rough there, man. Pretty rough. That's a lot of snow. That's what it looked like when it was peak winter time here. I mean peak. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, we needed a good old update, I think. Now we can add on AMD. I was like, come on now. You got to let me see my AMD. Can't not let me see that now. They're my babies. 
That's all we're gonna need to reload or something. The hell happened to the data there? Yeah, reload. Maybe I can just reload the whole thing somehow. Nope. I can do that. Hey, Mike Chang, thank you. Wow, thanks for the super chat, Mike. I appreciate that. Congrats to me and the GF. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. That is awesome, Mike. Thank you for that. Yeah, if you ever need any uh, stocks or anything like that, Mike, just let me know. He says, breakfast is on me. Wow, I love that. Hell yeah, I'll go get some, Mike. That's awesome. I'll tell you what, Mike. I'll tell you what. I I'm going to wait until this weekend. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Well. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm not going to wait till this weekend. I have an Easter brunch this weekend, but... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get some breakfast. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get some breakfast, Mike, and I'm gonna I'm gonna drive some to my girlfriend and say, you know, Mike decided to get us some breakfast today. <laughs> I'm gonna drive some to her and uh surprise her with some with something. So we'll do that. That's awesome, Mike. Thank you. That's cool. That is a lot of snow though, Sean, I'll tell you. That is a lot. It's a ton of snow. Too much snow for me, I'd be crying. I would be crying on that one. All right, Tessie. There we go. Something's going on here. Look, man, it's not like loading right or my connection might be bad. Yeah, it was actually bad for a minute there, is what happened. AMD looks pretty good, though. It's fire. And lots of buyers down there around 94 to 95. I know, right? She's eating for two. She's always... She's like, I got to eat like 400 more calories now. And I'm like, I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> no, we've been, um, it was funny, Mike. Last night we went to Sonic and I, uh, got her a, what was it? Well, I went to Sonic, got her a Reese's something like concrete or I don't know, Reese's blast or something. <laughs> it was pretty good. Like some ice cream with some Reese's in it. I'll tell you what, that sounds good right now. Hmm, really good. All right, AMD run up to 96, 96.50 has a big resistance there. Go look at NVIDIA real quick. We got five minute chart. Now I'm thinking about what I want to get for food. I might not be able to actually do uh, breakfast because everywhere's done with it. Isn't it. I remember, do you guys remember the Big Daddy episode where he wants to go get breakfast? That was a pretty good episode, wasn't it? Good old Big Daddy, right? Big Daddy is one of the best movies I think I've ever seen in my entire life, guys. The movie Big Daddy. I need to go watch that again now, actually, since since I'm expecting one. <laughs> my, that's a good movie to watch, I think, isn't it? I don't know. I love that movie. Either way. Big Daddy. Adam Sandler. When I saw him live, he was one of the best people I saw live ever. Made me cry with this Chris Farley tribute at the end. Man, that was rough. I couldn't hold back the tears. Good old Chris Farley. Man, NVIDIA is doing a lot better than AMD today. I'll tell you that. Way better. Like, significantly better. I can't believe it's doing that good. Ha! <laughs> 
Xbox goes, if she wakes up in the middle of the night wanting pickles or Chinese food, you go along with it. No complaints or arguments, LOL. <laughs> Xbox, she's already been on to that. She's already been into it with the, uh, she had the Chinese food. She goes, that's all that sounds good to me right now. And I'm like, all right, I guess we're getting Chinese food. And then she goes, uh, the other day she goes, you know, pickles, uh, kind of sound really good right now too. And I'm like, pickles. And she's like, yeah, like fried pickles or something. And I'm like, like, oh, and I started looking it up. And I was like, babe, look at this shit. And these people apparently do cream cheese pickle sandwiches. Creamed cheese pickle sandwich. Ugh, terrible. I couldn't imagine something like that. Leo says, is this just the beginning of an oil run or am I too late? You know, Cleo, I think you're looking good right now. Uh, the problem is that oil stocks are really high. So if you look at like Zom, Oxy, CVX, those stocks are hard to play on this. I think it's best to go look at maybe like a Gush, G-U-S-H, for example. Gush might be a good one. Okay, it's a leveraged ETF. Okay, so it's going to be a shorter term deal. But whenever oil goes on uptrends, Gush usually does pretty pretty darn good all right so keep your eyes on gush keep your eyes on uso this could be another one uso would be a pretty good oil play if oil keeps popping and it's another like fund so like for example it should just go up pretty well with oil um i can't remember exactly what they wanted <laughs> cleo cleo you're gonna get me in trouble <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> That's good, Cleo. I like that. <laughs> she wanted my pickle. That's right. She better have. I mean, hell. Xbox goes, what do you think it is? The sodium? I, I can't tell you what it is. It might be the sodium. Or maybe just like that like weird sour type taste. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why Chinese food's good. Because, you know, it's kind of like... It's not always sour, but you know, like if you get like a Saskatchewan beef or like a General So's chicken or something, you know, it has like some like hang to it at least. I'll tell you what I really like. I really like myself some good old chicken pad thai. And I love sushi as well. Oh my gosh. Sushi to me. I might get that for lunch today. That, well, actually she can't eat it anymore. So no, I won't be getting it. Man, I'll tell you, like, the rainbow roll in sushi to me is just amazing. Love the rainbow roll. Probably my favorite by far, the good old rainbow. It's a weird thing, because, like, I'm not a big fan of necessarily, like, the, like, actually, like, the raw fish. But I can do the rainbow roll for some reason. Like, it has the raw salmon, the raw tuna, the raw uh, yellow fin. I think it also has raw something else on it, but uh, I love it. I love the this roll, rainbow roll, and fantastic. I also love this one, the pink lady roll. Pink lady roll. This one's fantastic as well. Oh yeah, right here, boom, just like that with the pink. Beautiful. It's like a work of art eating these things. Look at that one, shaped like hearts. <laughs> yeah hulk smash the cleo says i've been a sub since 1k subs on your other channel oh my gosh cleo that is awesome that's a long time cleo thank you and thanks for joining today thanks for thanks for joining up thank you to cleo thank you xbox mike chang keisha thank you everybody for joining up Keisha says, I tried sushi, but I can't get past the fish being raw. How do you not get sick? Um, you know, I, I don't know, Keisha. Uh, the way that I started, Keisha, was um, I started out with stuff like this one. So I'm sure all you guys have, you know, 
everybody who's tried sushi, everyone's always like, well, which one should, should I try first? You know, everyone's always like, get the California roll, you know? So the California roll is just like avocado, cucumber, and uh, imitation crab or crab meat. And it's not raw crab meat, so keep that in mind. It's like imitation crab meat, so it's not like this is raw. So it's not like every sushi is raw. So like you'll also maybe get like a shrimp tempura roll. Now this is actually like a a fried shrimp inside of a roll. So it's like fried shrimp with avocado and like lettuce in there. See on this one how it really looks fried, like they fry it. Sometimes they even put like cream cheese in there. So it's not like it's always raw. So whenever I started, they started me out on the non-raw ones. And I got used to eating these rolls. And once you get used to the roll and all that, and you get like a good wasabi soy mixture, like... You know how it always comes with, like, wasabi, too? Like, that spice, really, if you put, like, that spice on there, it takes all the fishiness away. So, like, when you eat, whenever I eat, like, this uh, rainbow roll that I was talking about, this one, if I eat this one, this is, like, a whole raw piece of tuna, this big pink thing. This raw piece of tuna doesn't taste fishy or anything at all. It actually tastes better to me than tuna out of a can which is I don't know, some people probably think that's weird as hell but it's better than tuna out of a can when you add a little spice to it it's weird but yeah Keisha the shrimp tempura would be pretty good actually Keisha that might not be a bad thing to try yeah like it's uh it's like fried shrimp in there and they have a few different ones like that It'll be a little fancier than just shrimp tempura, but it'll be shrimp tempura inside, but they might add like other stuff. Like if you don't like avocados, they might have one where they have like, I don't know, like if you're like a vegan or something, they might have like a sweet potato thing in there, or, you know, like uh, there's all types of rolls. It's weird, like sweet potato rolls and I've seen them with beef inside and like cooked beef, of course. Imagine the raw beef sushi. Now that's disgusting, guys. Ugh. Or imagine, like, raw chicken or something. That is gross. I've heard of people doing that. Like, apparently that's a thing, but not for me. The bagel roll is a good starter. That sounds pretty good, Cleo. Sounds pretty good. Cleo, that's a long time, though, since 1K subs on the other channel. That's huge. We actually just surpassed 50,000 subs. A little while ago, so I really appreciate that, Cleo. That's a long time viewer. That's awesome. Mike says, Now you guys are getting me hungry. Yeah, I am starving now. I can't lie. Like, I am. I was starving when the stream started, so now I'm really hungry. <laughs> I have to have a midday break here. Go get some food. Pretty good. Yeah, I guess it was. Oh, no, it wasn't actually Xbox. I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. I saw you say Hulk smash, but I didn't see the other one. Oh, my gosh, Xbox. Yeah, hey, guys, smash that like button. I... I don't want to say the second half, but <laughs> I saw that one, Xbox. That's good. That's pretty funny. Yeah, Gush is up 10%, Keisha. Gush is going to be huge. If oil keeps moving, Gush will be a good stock to have up uh, in the short term. I wouldn't hold it, though, because it's, it's leveraged. So it will go down quickly if oil doesn't rise. But as long as oil rises in somewhat of a quick manner, this thing should be fire. It'll... Gush. And there's also an inverse to gush called drip. So if oil goes down, drip goes up. So you can trade drip to the upside quite a bit. So like recently, while oil's been falling, drip, since the end of January, actually went up like 56%. So pretty crazy. 
Bullish could easily go up 50% now, you know, given how oil starting to move. It's already up 35% from that low of 100 recently. Yeah, that really is an OG right there. That is a lot. I'll tell you that. That is quite a bit, but. Oh, what a crazy day. Hey, I really do appreciate you guys joining up today. We are going to have to end the stream now. I do have some uh, some stuff to do here in a little while. But hey, I really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate Xbox, Keisha, Mike Chang, Leo, um, Sean, of course, Ant, JG Marine, Mark, Danny, Fiva, Jamie. Oh, man, I, I hope I'm not missing anybody here. I know I am, though. Somewhere. Leo, I hope I didn't miss you. But yeah, thank you guys, seriously, so much for joining. Thank you all the lurkers out there for sticking with us and always being here through these live streams and everything like that. Appreciate you being here. Hopefully, you find some nice setups and some nice plays from some of these live streams. I know not every day is going to be a day where there's always great opportunities all morning, but... You know, today there were some pretty good plays on Spy. I like a lot of these oil moves. Tessie's been falling off to the downside in a big way today. Been a good move under 200, so catching some crazy stuff there. But thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you for all the congratulations and stuff like that. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. It's going to be a crazy next, you know, eight to nine months. Hopefully we can start to get some amazing stuff stringed together here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and a fantastic week. I will say guys, there is no trading this Friday. So keep that in mind. There will be no trading on Friday of this week. I think it's good Friday or something like that. Let's actually look it up. NYSE, uh, holidays. All right. Right here, Friday, April 7th. So yes, this Friday, there will be no trading. So just keep that in mind, guys. Don't want anybody to get too freaked out on Friday. Um, but yeah, have a fantastic day. And let's kill it. You know, let's bring in some profits. If you guys are winning out there, post them up in the Profits channel. I'm starting to revive the Stocked Up Instagram a little bit more. So go on there, check out Stocked Up trading on instagram i'm actually going to go on there right now instagram stocked up trading it should be fun gonna have a lot of amazing uh stuff coming through on there i'm gonna post a link up in the chat here so you guys can give me a follow please that'll be very helpful like up some of the posts too and like i said if you guys have some amazing plays you might be featured in some of these you know we'll post them up we post up some of the plays like this one with Tangi loving stocked up, giving us some nice words there. Posted that. Also had some good profits a couple days ago from a few members. So always good to see stuff like that coming through. Posting stuff up on the stories all the time and reels and different things like that. So thank you guys for joining up. Have a good day. I feel like I've said have a good day like 18 times now. So I'll just uh I'll just leave you guys at that. <laughs>